that's home. <laughs> that's just like the Ravens. That's just like Pahokee, Florida. Um, that's my second home. I got my degree from there, my first degree, college degree. It's part of my heart, it's part of my soul, it's part of my spirit. And, you know, it's everything. It, it'll a community college, baby. Uh, it's, it's everything. It shaped me up to being a great man because it was part of the journey of me becoming the young man I am today. And um, it's home, man. That, that's. That's it, like, I can go there and lay my head down without no problems. It'll warm a community college the best star here. Welcome back to the ICC Hour here on Super Talk Mississippi 101.9 FM. We're going to talk a little bit of athletics coming up. When we do that, we want to remind you that you can keep up with all things ICC athletics by visiting letsgoicc.com and following at Let's Go ICC on your favorite social media platform. Well, sports seasons are here, and we're going to start things off with volleyball coach, uh, Coach Annie McGregor. And, Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. Well, Coach, um, the girls reported not too long ago, and it's almost a blink in an eye, and you're now you're playing your uh, first preseason matchup coming up on the 11th. So uh, just talk about the vibe around the team right now. Yeah, we are so excited to have our girls back on campus. They bring incredible energy, and we worked really hard in our spring offseason to uh, create a culture that – that we wanted, that we wanted to brand ourselves with. And everybody has bought into the system that we're trying to do. And we're really, really excited about getting on the court. Before we go a little bit further in about the team, I want to expand on the creating the culture th type thing. Um, Volleyball is a new sport to the area, yes. rapidly growing. And a large part of that is thanks to the ICC program and you. Uh, I know you... I think had 12 camps per day. You know, I'm kidding. <laughs> it felt you like know, it, yes. You had, you had tons of camps during the summer, but it's mainly to, a lot of them were for the high school teams to help them continue to grow their programs yes. and let them experience ICC, but more importantly, grow the sport of volleyball. Why is that important to you? Well, I mean, two, a year ago, I was a high school coach. And so um, I know the resources that high school coaches have and don't have. And so it's kind of been my mission to, help them because I know all the area coaches because I was a high school coach in Northeast Mississippi for 10 years. And so I know all the coaches and I love to give back to those high school teams because I want to recruit their athletes. And so that's a great way for me to get to know players, for players to get to know me, build that relationship, but also continue to grow the game. Like you said, because volleyball is slowly, well, not slowly, it's quite now rapidly growing and becoming much more popular for girls. Absolutely. And of course, like I said, I think this is going to be our fifth year at the college. No. Fourth. Fourth year at fourth. the college. My second. That yes. seems fourth. Yes. So fourth year at the college. This is a sport I'm also learning. And I'm going to say this for those that don't experience volleyball that much. It's a fun sport. It's, it's fun. It's fast paced. Yeah. It's high energy. And it, it's fun. You know, I'm married to a baseball coach and there's a lot of downtime in baseball <laughs> yes. and there's not in volleyball. Yes. So it's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, speaking of high energy and good times, that's a good segue back into your girls. Yes. Uh, we had media day not too long ago. And I'm going to tell you what, you have got your hands full. <laughs> I do. But you've got your hands full with a bunch of good kids. I They're sure do. They're fun to be yeah. around. And hopefully that's going to lead to a fun and good season. I hope so. The, these girls, they truly make my day brighter. This summer I was up here, like you said, a lot. And it was worth it because I brought them all back to help work the camps. So it was, it was a lot of fun to be able to be with my girls and build those relationships before our season starts. Now, one of the biggest problems on junior college level is the fact that you have constant turnover. Mm -hmm. You only have these kids here for two years. You've got nine sophomores coming back. You've yes. got seven freshmen coming in. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about those sophomores. Uh, and I know right now you may not want to go name for name, but just talk about the sophomores as a group and what's your expectations for them. Man, those sophomores, um, they – they just work hard. And so they saw last year kind of what it takes and they kind of saw that we have our expectations set and how to push ourselves harder. And they know that we're going to give it a little bit more this year and a little, and the sudden then the freshmen know we're going to give it a little bit more next year and just continue to build on our successes. Um, but those sophomores, they, they work their tails off in the spring, whether it was conditioning, spin class practices on the court, we played eight spring season games. And so that got even the girls that didn't get a ton of playing time in the fall, that got them a lot of reps and playing time in the spring. So it was a really good experience for us. And a big thing about it is to uh, the speed of the game, you know, they had to learn that last yes. year. So now they're having to help the freshmen come along and pick up that speed of the game because it's fast and it's quick, but man, it's so much of a jump from high school to junior college. It is. And I think one of the hardest things is that all of these girls were 
the dude on their high school team, you know? And so then they come here and it's a little bit of culture shock when you realize, Oh my gosh, everyone here is really stinking good. You know? So yeah. that, that's been an adjustment for our freshmen, but our sophomores have really even already poured into our freshmen and kind of told them, Hey, this is what you can expect. I'm here for you. You know, I want you to know you're not alone. And so it's been a really good experience so far. Absolutely. And of course, uh, we're going to talk about the schedule coming up. Uh, and it's one of those, it's kind of hard to schedule. We'll talk about, instead of uh, talking individual mm -hmm. games right now, but because not a lot of teams in state, you Correct. know, they're, they're still adding them on the junior college level. So you're having to go out of state, having to travel a lot. Mm -hmm. So just talk about the challenge right now of getting this schedule put together. Yeah, the schedule, when you look at it, I think we've got seven home regular season games and then we've got a home scrimmage. Um, so eight, you know, when you, when you think about it, sometimes that's a lot, but then when you look at our away schedule, you're like, whoa, eight home yeah. games is not a lot. Not at all. Um, but right now we currently, this fall, we will have four, um, Mac teams. So that's a home and away and, you know, we're getting Jones next fall. And then there's a couple teams that are also in line, uh, to come. So that'll be easier to get home games once we get more yes. of the Mac teams. But, um, we're really lucky. I've built relationships with some junior colleges in Alabama that are actually closer than Pearl river, yeah. you know, but, yeah. uh, to get to, but we'll travel to them and, Luckily, when I say, hey, I'll come to you if we can get a try match, we can get two games out of a road trip. So that makes it a little bit worth the while. Yeah, it most definitely is worth the while there where you can get multiple teams right. in that mm -hmm. sense. We're talking with Coach Annie McGregor about the upcoming uh, volleyball season here at ICC. It kicks off, or not kick off, I guess, tip off. Tip serve, off, serve, serve off. Serve off, yeah. yeah. It, it starts uh, on uh, Friday, August the 11th. They'll head down to William Carey, uh, take on uh, – Pensacola State and uh, William Carey in a round robin down there uh, starting at 1 o'clock. And tell you what, Pensacola and William Carey, two tough teams to start off with. Yes. So just kind of talk about the start of that season, playing those tough teams. Well, I'm really looking forward to that date um, on the 11th being – preseason and being scrimmages, I've told the girls that we'll mess with a couple of different lineups and really see what kind of chemistry we can have on the court and um, who can work who can work well together. So we're really looking forward to mixing people up, getting freshmen and sophomores in and just seeing the pace that we need. Absolutely. And then uh, after that, you're going to host Rust. Yes. Uh, that would also be a, uh, a preseason scrimmage there. That's going to be on August the 15th, 530. So a chance for uh, the community to come in and watch the yes. team, but also maybe some former players can come in and watch as well because they're not technically going to be starting college on that next level. Well, and that, that day, the 15th, is actually our alumni game. And okay. so we've invited all of our alumni. And I kind of picked that day because they haven't there started you classes yet. Yes. You know, the next level. We start class on the 14th, but, um, you know, the four-year colleges kind of start the week after that. So that is actually, funny you say that, but that is our alumni game. So we have invited all ICC volleyball alumni. And this being the fourth year of the program, it's kind of easy to get in touch with everybody, you know, so that yeah. – so yeah, that we yeah, can get yeah, them here. Absolutely. But we're really looking forward to that day. And then, of course, we're going to scan down. Then we're going to go to September. And yes. September the 12th, we're going to welcome the rivals to volleyball. That's we right. take on uh, Northeast. Yes. Uh, that'll be at Northeast at 6 o'clock start yes. there. So uh, just talk about renewing that rivalry. We're really excited about it. Um, you know, geographically, they're the closest um, MAC school to us. And so my girls – know those girls yes. and so they they kind of take that game personally and they know every girl on that roster and they you know, that that they've circled that day yes. we're ready <laughs> absolutely then of course the other two teams uh in the uh conference if you will northwest pearl river yes. uh, playing them in back-to-back -back games on the road before coming back in october and playing yes. them as well and you know we talk about the rivalry of northeast that's just the proximity rivalry but i tell you what you put ICC Northwest, ICC Pearl River in the same uh, gym together when it comes to volleyball, that's some intense volleyball. Yeah, there's no love lost there. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it's fun right now. I um, I know the coaches very well and respect them. We were all high school coaches together, too. And so I've known Coach Chatham and Coach Burchett a long time. Um, but it's it's really fun to to play those games. They, they're high energy, competitive games. And, you know, it's kind of... ICC versus everybody. We're, we're ready to take everybody down. I like it. Of course, you can yeah. visit letsgoicc.com. That's letsgoicc.com. Go to the volleyball page. You can see uh, their full uh, schedule there. I think close to 32 matches scheduled yes. uh, this season. Of course, playing teams like MUW uh, that's in the area as well. So plenty of opportunities to get out and support the Indians. Uh, Coach, uh, before we wrap things up here, kind of just give you an opportunity to uh, kind of talk to the fans, invite them out to the season this year. 
Yeah, we'd love to have people at our games. Um, we offered a deal to the teams that we did team camp with and the girls that came to camp that if they wear their camp shirt, they get to get in free. Nice. You know, so I would yep. love for any of the girls who are at camp to come support us and see us this season and anybody who's interested in seeing what we've got. I'd love for anybody to come, whether you know someone on the team or not. Like we mentioned earlier, I promise you it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And, we're, you know, we, we're not – a four hour sport event. So we get, we get you in, we get you out and it's high energy. Matter of fact, I know one year we played one school that actually drove further than it took us to beat them. On oh, the we court. do that on several so, occasions. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we yes. do that on several occasions. Yes. Well, coach, again, I appreciate your time and I appreciate what you're doing to not only help ICC volleyball, but grow the sport as a whole. I know there's a lot of parents out there that appreciate it as well. And I just say that because I know the hours you put into it. <laughs> yes. And so uh, it's going to be one of those that in the long term, it's going to pay off. I, th I think so. I'm looking forward to it. Well, we'll be back more of the ICC Hour right after this.